Today we're going to be playing some Legends of the Brawl. One of the, um, uh, currently, I personally think, one of the better, if, probably not the best, actually, that's a lie. But definitely one of the better, uh, Mystery Portal events in rotation. So if you need to grind up Hover Goat or Torchwood, or you just want to play, uh, some Mystery Portal event, or literally any reason, anything you want to do with a Mystery Portal event, I highly recommend this. Um, so yeah, first off, spawn me is Commando Corn. Um, so I- well, if you don't know what this game mode is, it's basically all legendary characters. However, you can't choose which one you do, and it's just a regular game of Team Vanquish. So it's nothing too crazy, like, overcomplicated or anything like that. Very easy to understand. A lot of fun to play. And... I personally think that it does make the, um, uh, the rounds a bit more fair than something like, uh, what's it called? Than something like, get off my lawn -athon. And, of course, I was gonna try and do a Huscop, but then, yeah. I don't know, either way, quick little streak of eight there. Uh, with no warm-up round. Um, okay, and it spawned me as an Iron Citron that time. Oh, by the way, if you try and do respawn to get a better character, it just respawns you as the same character. Don't try. I, I, I you'll wait. You'll just waste your time. And if you try and swap teams, I'm pretty sure that I, I don't know. I think that does nothing as well. I'm not certain. I mean, you could give it a shot. And you'll know. Um. I do like the um uh, change teams thing. The change teams button. I do think that that's a lot better than, like, being on the character select screen. And then, like... Because sometimes... It, I mean, for all that you know, the game's just lying to you. Which I always thought was annoying. Okay, this Z7. That's literally all that I wanted, was just that Z7. After what you did, it made me hunt you down. It's literally all that I wanted. So, alright, Party Citron, that's a little bit better. I mean... Subjectively, I'm better with Party Citron. I haven't been playing Iron Citron as much recently. Uh, no reason, no particular reason why. I just I want to play some other characters. I don't know. I do have a decent amount played on him, though. Not as much as it should be. I think it's like 14 hours. Realistically, that should be at least 24. Um. So, yeah. This is just a terrible idea, so I'm gonna have to go full stealth mode. Yeah, I can already tell that you're annoying. So just just don't even bother. I'm not even gonna bother. Yeah, like I said, annoying person. Can I have Commando Corn again? That was good. Literally eight ninths of these kill. All but one of these kills have been from freaking Commando Corn. Let's you know how good that I am with him, but then you give me literally everything other than Commando Corn. Alright, there we go, that's a bit more like it. Thank you, Chompers. Whichever Chompers did that. I probably wouldn't have ever been able to hit him. Come on, at least get the imp. Now Toxic Brains. No. I'm trying to maximize the amount of kills I can- Yeah, I gotta share it on him, see? Uh, do I really want to be revived? I mean, I guess I will. Oh, come on. Come on, we can take this guy. We can take this guy. Especially if he's gonna miss a Zomni Blade like that. He definitely ain't hitting bullets if he's gonna miss a Zomni Blade. And I get an assist. Absolutely phenomenal. So, yeah. Very, very fun, uh, game mode. Definitely more fair than most game modes, which is probably my favorite part about it, to be honest. It's just so fair. It's not like you could just stick on one ridiculously good character that dominates the entire thing and basically cheat. Uh, it's not really cheating, but it's kind of like cheating. Oh, I just realized, yeah, I got party time. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I just realized that. That just now clocked in. Or clocked in is not really the word. Oh, yeah, you can't customize your characters in this game mode, so I'm gonna be stuck with that stupid cuckoo clock on my head. Um, I mean, that's not a big deal, though. 
Um, something funny, a little funny observation that a YouTuber that I know, not personally, made a couple years ago is the ridiculously high chances of you getting an imp. Um, so yeah, I'll just run it down with you, because th this is surprising until you realize it. Okay, so you got the three party characters. Oh, this is for the zombie size. You got the three party characters. Um, but for some reason, Captain Party Man is not in this. I don't know why. Maybe they forgot him. Maybe they'd rather one of the special characters, like Z7, be in it. I don't know. So you have the two party characters. You have Toxic Brains. And you have three. Wait, you have three total imps. So, really. It's Party Brains, uh, Party Brains, Toxic Brains, Computer Scientist, and then three imps. So you have a 50% chance of being an imp. So yeah, ridiculously high. Uh, another thing that I noticed is that, um, in the thumbnail for this game mode, they have Hover Goat and Torchwood that are not in it. I don't know why. Um, however, in, you know, the game itself, there is also... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna bother with you. In the game itself, they are not in there, but for special characters, because those are special characters, you can only achieve them with one special way, unlike any other character, unless if you want to pay. Uh, what even hit me? Are you serious? If I die now, I'm gonna be annoyed. You could have easily killed me. Okay, but seriously, what even hit me? Like, what stunned me? N there was nothing. There was nothing. There was no EMP. There was nothing. As far as I know, I just wasn't able to shoot out of just unluck. Unluck. Um. So yeah. Uh. Fifty percent chance of being an imp. Yeah, I know. Freaking ridiculous. Um. So yeah, it teases those characters. Um. They're not in it, though. And of course, yeah, you chomped me from the side. Congratulations, buddy. Um, they're not in it, but then for actual special characters, Z7 and, as you can tell, Uni- Why would you give me this character? Unicorn Chomper are in it. Um, so I'm- I mean, you'd think that that means, uh, it includes special characters as well, but then if you're gonna include Unicorn Chomper, you should include Twilight Chomper, because those are also special characters. Um, dang it, I'm focusing. Um, so yeah, I don't know what the deal is with the special characters. I don't know why Party Bros and Party Captain Party Man aren't in it, because those are like, you can debate about special characters all you want. Those are no doubt legendary characters so yeah that's pretty weird um so yeah oh there it is toxic overload okay Ooh, this could end either really good it's probably not yeah, I was gonna say either really good or really bad based off of that it's probably gonna be the second one Okay, waste of a toxic overload. Are you free? That thing reached out and grabbed me. I did not. I, I mean, I was gonna step in it, but I, I I'm, I'm an eagle-eyed. I noticed that. That thing freaking reached out and grabbed me. Oh, why do you keep on giving me these guys? Fun fact: these guys are terrible because citrons are very good against super brains. You know, you get up close to them. All that they need to do is EMP. And besides, they do extra damage up close. Same with corns. And then choppers are... Uh, do I really need to explain choppers? Yeah. There we go. You gonna come out that ball? You gonna come out that ball? No? No? Right, you can be like that. Yeah, and of course, not a single teammate. I mean, I, w I was dead either way, but of course. The irony. 
Someone's toxic. I killed them once. Hello. Maybe I killed them twice. I don't know. They, in fact, that's stupid. Dude, quit being a sore loser. It's entire- we switch characters every time we die. Or we should switch characters, it's random characters. So you don't even know if you're taunting- if you're teabagging the right person. Freaking stooge. I just realized we're losing this 10 points by 10 points. So yeah, that's- that's not very good, guys. Come on, let's flip. With the flippity flop. I've been saying that more often. What the flip. And then I followed up with like, what the flip do you flop or something like that. Because obviously we're not allowed to say the F word at school, so I have a friend that says it. I'm not sure if it's ironically, but he says what the flip. And uh, yeah, I've just been riding his coattails. Dude, do I have a bounty on my head or something? Am I listed on Tinder? Like, hello. Come on, come and get me. Because, geez, how many people does it take? Why? What's with all these imps right at the end? You could, this couldn't have been, like, the way that it was the entire game. You know how many more kills I would get, I would have gotten by now if you didn't give me, like, a thousand super brains or however many you gave me? Oh, you're lucky. Oh, this entire lobby's lucky. I would have made all the other zombies look bad, and I would have absolutely dismantled the teammates if I had gotten this character every single time. Or not even this character, this class every single time. Oh, and he's the one that took away the most kills from me. I mean, it was like a three-way tie for most. I mean, it would have been, but he got the last kill, so yeah. Yeah, si I died six times. That should have been like three times if you had given me imps, but instead, no, you gave me stupid super brains. Yeah. One of the few game modes Toxic Brains is not very good in. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for all the support on the channel recently. It's been awesome. Uh, thanks for all the support in the last video. Really appreciate that. Um, so yeah. Um, if you want to see me play any specific character or do any specific thing in this game, feel free to comment it below. I will be more than happy to do that for you. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, feel free to leave a like and go check out some of my other videos. Um, so yeah. Um, we're gonna open up these two packs and then I'm gonna say bye bye. Come on, stock. There we go. Board game set. That was the most laggy pack ever. Why did you say board game set? That's just a Monopoly set. Well, I know that they can't say Monopoly, but. Anyways. Artsy fartsy set. Haha. Uh -huh. That actually doesn't look that bad. And then the mailman set. That looks pretty stupid. I mean, I like the I like the design. It kind of looks like one of those things that like an old grandma. Ooh, Lana Doom is here. I for, I didn't think about that until just now. Yeah, it's October now. Um. So yeah. Yeah. Um. I mean, pretty decent. I mean, I mean, I guess they're good packs. But the mailman set kind of reminds me of like. You know, stereotypical grandma from, like, the Little Red Riding Hood. It reminds me of, like, those little things that they wear. It's kind of like a hat. It's kind of like a bandana, but stuffed with stuff. I don't know. You probably... You might know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm trying to say. And if you don't know what I'm trying to say, then you're like, dude, what are you talking about? Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.